Welcome back to the channel and today we're delving into the intricacies of cosmetic surgery. Today we're exploring a real common concern that patients face in upper eyelid uh, blepharoplasty and that is asymmetry. First let's understand that asymmetry after surgery isn't that unusual. The human face is naturally asymmetrical and each side is unique. We have a dominant side that's slightly larger and a non-dominant side that's slightly sh smaller and there are differences in the muscle and bone structure underneath. So having surgery, although it aims to enhance the symmetry, it's not uncommon for there to be these subtle differences between both sides. There are, of course, other causes that can cause asymmetry, and this can stem from swelling or different healing patterns, or even pre-existing asymmetries that actually weren't that noticeable before, but after you had your surgery, you became more aware of them. And it's really important not to forget that post-surgical swelling can be uneven and that tends to resolve over time. People think that because they have two eyes that they will heal in exactly the same way. And what I tend to say is that they're not twins, they're more like cousins and sometimes there can be differences depending on the amount of local anesthetic that was given, um, the amount of bruising might be different on one side to the other, how you sleep might result in swelling on more side to other. So that healing doesn't happen overnight and it doesn't happen perfectly symmetrically. Of course, it's really important to consult with your surgeon if there are any concerns and they are your best ally in understanding and addressing these nuances that might really concern you. Regular follow-ups are absolutely crucial for monitoring the healing process and ensuring that you get the best outcome. So it's important to attend those follow-up appointments. If you are considering blepharoplasty or recovering from one and have those concerns, it's important to keep these insights in mind and keep in contact with your surgeon, of course. I really do hope that you found this video helpful and please give us a thumbs up and, and subscribe for more insights on cosmetic procedures. Thank you.